Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dirty Red Gaming, where we take gaming and fashion, we mash it together like it's some Play-Doh. I'm Macho, aka Dirty Red, this is my channel. So a couple weeks ago, we were able to upgrade our PlayStation 5 Slim by getting some new black custom plates from Amazon website. These are like a matte finish. And, uh, if you watch my video, you can see that I did upgrade my PlayStation 5 Slim um, to some custom plates. But in this video, we're going to be taking our old PlayStation 5 Slim plates and we're going to be wrapping them in a Spider-Man themed generic skin. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be taking these plates right here from my old PlayStation 5 Slim. Well, not old, but the old PlayStation 5 plates. And we're going to take this skin and we're going to wrap it. And it's going to be pretty dope. I think it's going to be pretty cool. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Then we also have some uh, a new RGB vertical stand that lights up. I really thought that was dope, so I kind of ordered that too when I ordered my skin. So um, I don't want to hold y'all up, man. Let's go ahead and get the video going. Okay, so first thing first, we need to remove our black panels off of our PlayStation 5 Slim. If you were going to install this on your original PlayStation 5 Slim with the white ones, you would just leave it on. I saw a video earlier of a guy doing it, and it seemed like it was much easier when he installed it with them already on the PlayStation 5 Slim instead of removing the panels and doing it one by one. So right now, I'm going to take this off and take the base off, and then I'm going to remove the black panels and put the white panels on, and then we're going to open this up and see how they look, see how the skins look. I think it's on controller skins on here as well. So we're gonna do that. So let's go ahead and go. Okay, so before we go any further, I wanna let y'all know that this is not a plate for your PlayStation 5 Slim. This is pretty much a skin or a wrap or a sticker. Um, I got this from Amazon for 20 bucks and pretty much the description says that this is a skin wrap compatible with your PlayStation 5 Slim disc version. This is a skin sticker only compatible with your PS5 Slim disc version. This gives you a different style and clarity PS5 Slim disc skin for choice. Make your console look unique. PS5 Slim disc skin is produced with precise hole positioning to ensure it will fit the console and the controller well. This protective cover is made of layer or multi-layer vinyl material which will protect your game from scratches and dust. This is also the bubble-free decal, and it's easy to, easy to install, leaving no residue when removed. So pretty much, man, this is not no plate for your PlayStation 5 Slim. These are literally just stickers that you stick to your PS5, your original plate. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up, and we're gonna see how they look. I have not seen them yet. So let's go, let's go see how it look. So, Got your Spider-Man, hey, 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 got your Spider-Man. Do you also have a skin for your controller? Then you have the skin, my bad, you got the skin that goes on the front of your PS5 Slim right there. It's pretty dope, and then you got the back. So that looks pretty dope, so we're gonna put that on our PlayStation 5 Slim. I'm going to kind of just see how it all goes. Only was 20 bucks. Can't go wrong. So let's go ahead and get everything set up so we can install this. Okay, so first thing first, we're going to take the PlayStation side. I think this is probably going to be the easiest side. And we're going to put our decal on like that. So shouldn't take that long to go ahead and put this side on. But it pretty much just it shows you how to go. This is the PlayStation side. So... Let's go ahead and put that side on first and then we're gonna flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so the first part went on pretty smooth as you can see. Um, I had to just line it up with the PlayStation logo, but that looked pretty dope though, I'm not even gonna lie. The quality on this is pretty good. So we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna go ahead and get the other side going. So let's go. Okay, so this is coming together pretty good. I did run into some issues right there and i want to say right here i don't know if you can see that on camera but right there 
I think I could probably take a blow dryer and uh, blow it and, and heat it up. But as of right now, man, it's coming together good. It's coming together good. So we're gonna do the centerpiece right here and then we should be done and we're gonna take a look at it and just see how it looks. Okay, so he got everything done on it, man. Look at that right there. Look at that, look how it lines. Everything lines up. Mash it down a little bit. I didn't have no bubbles or anything, but this is the top. This is how it looks at the top. You get the little panel across the top, the little, everything connects fine. No air bubbles. I may just take a uh, a blow dryer, kind of loosen it up a little bit and uh, so that it'll stick. Hopefully that'll fix, you know, these little issues right there with a little blow dryer. But other than that, man, everything worked out fine with it. I actually like this skin better than the actual panels itself. It even had it at the back, the bottom, if you can see right there. It even had a, a, a skin for the bottom. Black. Check it out right there. So we got a fully customizable PS5 Slim with the wrap on it. We got it wrapped. I like this better than the all black. Could have just did this on the all black, but I choose um, to have at least two. I can swap this out for all black, or I can just go with, you know, the Spider-Man cover. So what I'm gonna do now is put my base on it, set it back up and wrap this video up. Okay, so our last thing we're gonna do is put our RGB vertical stand together. And this comes from the Yon Hot uh, Amazon store and basically features and details is this stand is compatible with your PlayStation 5 Slim, the disc or digital version. You can lay them vertically without a frame. The stand does a good job of preventing sliding and tilting with its rubber padding on the bottom. This is not for your old PlayStation 5 though. This stand has 14 light lighting modes to adjust, nine static modes and five dynamic modes. You just press the touch switch to change different lighting modes to enhance the sense of game atmosphere and give your console a unique color. So I kind of chose this because my uh, headset stand kind of has it has a, a RGB light system on it also but anyway the bottom of the stand is designed with heat dissipation holes to enhance air circulation and enhance bottom heat dissipation as well so there's no need to worry about your console overheating it keeps it working functionally and improve, improves the optional lifespan of your PlayStation 5. The stand is equipped with R RGB lights, which have a beautiful appearance and especially designed for the new console, bringing you a different gaming experience. So, man, with this, I grabbed this off of Amazon website for 24 bucks. And let's see what it comes with. Should be just your stand, a screw, and let's see what else comes in. So you got your stand itself comes with a USB cord, a USB cable, kind of old school. Uh, real short, but it is USB-C. I could probably use another USB-C cord. Um, and I think the screw, come with a screw also. A little pin that screws into the back. And then here is our stand right here. It's pretty dope, it's pretty dope, not even gonna lie. I'm ready to put this on, so. Let's go ahead and get ready to install this, flip the PlayStation 5 over and put it on. Okay, so the process is pretty simple. You just take your stand, you see the little rubber pads at the bottom, you put your screw and you line it with your, the bottom of your PlayStation and then you just screw it in. So, screws in like such. It's a little tough to screw in, I don't know why. I don't know what's up with these like Chinese manufacturers. But anyway, I'm gonna take some and screw it in and I'm gonna show y'all how it looks when it's done. Okay, so we got our stand on the bottom of our PlayStation 5, as you can see right here. And last but not least, we're gonna plug it up and see if it works. Got it. The boom is on. Cut the light off and see how it looks. So you just push this little button. I'm not sure if you can see the light right there. Real dope, real dope. But you push the button, it changes the light. I do wish it was a little bit brighter. But you could change the different light color, light modes. Real dope if you wanted to blink or flash. Green. 
red. We can go red with the Spider-Man. But that's pretty much it, man. That's pretty much it. That's all I got for it. We're gonna get everything hooked back up. Get our light back on. There's no really real reason to kind of go and do a whole conclusion, but that's it, man. You got your PlayStation 5 Slim with your custom Spider-Man, custom Spider-Man wrap or skin or whatever you want to call it. I probably just take the blow dryer and blow dry and uh, try to push those out a little bit. But man, this is a very dope, 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 dope setup right here. I really, I'm really feeling this. I'm gonna keep this on. I can always pull these panels off and put the black on it. But anyway, man, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Dirty Red Gaming, and I'm out.